All right, uh, we're snowed in here um, on the East Coast, so uh, there's no school, and this will be my second video for the day. Um, I want to talk about two things. Uh, this Dietzen Microglide Slide Roll and Microglide Slide Rolls in general, um, and what I want to call the Dietzen Scale Set. Um, so, first of all, Microglide refers to a type of construction. Um, so the Microglide construction replaces the Micromatic construction of uh, Dietzen Slide Rolls. So this particular scale set um, debuts, I think, on the Micromatic Slide Rolls in the early 50s. And then in 1956, about, uh, these microglide slide rolls come out. So, uh, you can spot them because they say microglide. Um, the only thing you have to watch out for with that is that, uh, there are some plastic versions of the slide roll made by, uh, Faber-Castell, um, that are also marked microglide. Uh, but you want to look for one with this, uh, classic wood frame construction that's marked microglide. Um, Besides this slide roll, there is a vector log log slide roll, which is usually marked N1725. This is the 1734. Uh, but Dietzen model numbers are very confusing. They use the numbers uh, over and over again for different slide rolls. Um, so you want to be careful. Um, before I actually talk about the scale set, um, I want to talk about the fact that this scale set uh, really gets onto a lot of different slide rolls over the years. Um, so. I'll just keep flipping this as we talk about it so you can see the scale set. Um, so, uh, this scale set is debuting, I think, on the Micromatic slide rolls. The Micromatic slide rolls um, actually have a tension adjustment. You turn a, turn a screw in the side and it adjusts the tension. Um, those, are, those are fairly sought after uh, slide rolls. Go a little bit high on the prices. Um, so, you before that, uh, Dietzen is often accused of copying K&E slide roll designs, but uh, this design really kind of starts branching out and, and is unique. Um, and it's so maybe good or popular for Dietzen that uh, it makes its way into a lot of different slide rolls. Uh, so you see the earlier Micromatic slide rolls, you see the Dietzen 1734 here, a uh, microglide slide roll with this scale set. Um, you see... Um, they make a standard construction slide roll. I think it's a 1733. Um, I have that in the in one of my other videos. Um, standard construction slide roll with this scale set. Um, at a glance, it looks exactly the same as this slide roll. Uh, later, Dietzen uh, contracts a bamboo version from Rico. I think that's the B1734 for bamboo. Uh, there is a metal version made in Germany, maybe by um, Ecobra, I'm not sure. There is a version made by Sterling Plastic Slide Rolls. Um, it must be under license uh, because it uses these exact designations on the ends. Um, it's basically an exact copy. Of course, no color printing and complete plastic construction. Um, then there is the G1734 made by Faber-Castell. That one is uh, confusingly marked microglide, even though I would say it doesn't have the microglide construction that this has. Um, the G there is for Geroplast, um, Faber-Castell's plastic uh, compound. Um, all of those slide rolls, that's at least seven different slide roll constructions, uh, use the same scale set um, as this slide roll. Okay, so let's, so let's have a look at what microglide means. So the earlier micromatic slide rolls have the tension adjustment. Uh, so there's an adjustment on both ends uh, to change the tension of the slide. Uh, the the slide roll is a standard um, mahogany construction, like k and uh, There's a very nice heavy metal cursor with glass uh, glass window, uh, plastic end pieces, but um, heavier duty than k and E's cursor. It also has these nice little uh, feet to keep the cursor glass off. Um, not all Dietzen cursors I've seen have that, but uh, this slide roll tends to tends to have that cursor. Um, Okay, but what does what does really the microglide mean? So you'll see this slide roll has a very nice sliding action if you compare against, say, the K&E &E, uh, slide roll here. Uh, well, it's hard for you to tell, but it's much stickier. Um, of course, you can adjust it. Uh, but if you were to actually have this in hand, you would find this to be one of the nicest uh, slide actions on any slide roll that you own. Uh, what's the reason for that? Well... Uh, this is more than it seems. It's not just a mahogany with celluloid face slide roll. 
It's a mahogany celluloid face slide roll with Teflon inserts. Let's look at the end. Uh, so you can see there, uh, the slide is standard mahogany with celluloid face, but there are two inserts on the ends of the stutters that um, are actually made out of Teflon. And so if you look inside the slide roll like this, uh, you, you can see it. So, uh, Teflon, of course, um, used to coat your nonstick pans, is very good at, uh, well, allowing things to slide easily. And that's exactly what we want this uh, slide to do. Uh, so I think this is, this is a great solution to kind of the slide roll adjustment and tension problem. Um, really, the Teflon insert makes this slide well all the time. Um, it's really nice. Um, you can see it, it, it leaves a little gap there that you might not expect because actually the the Teflon, uh, you know, really these should not be contacting because you should be allowing the Teflon to take the, um, the actual friction. Um, okay, so that's what the microglide construction is. It's the Teflon insert. Um, so there's this slide roll with that construction. There's also the vector log log slide roll uh, with that construction. It's built on the same frame, but a different scale set. Um, okay, now let's talk about the actual scale set. Because this scale set makes it into so many slide rolls, I like to call it the Dietzen scale set. Okay, it's a general purpose uh, log log scale set. Um, you've got your six log log scales, two on the back and four on the front here. Uh, you've got folded scales. They sneak the L scale here in between the, uh, the folded scales and the regular scales. Um, on the back, you've got your trigonometric scales. Uh, slightly unusual is you've got a T2 scale, tangent scale for angles greater than 45 degrees. Uh, you've got a DI scale, um, but otherwise pretty standard. Uh, there's no C scale on the back here. Um, so this this scale set is very similar to K and E scale set from the same era. Uh, so here's a 4081 uh, later model, uh, 4081. Let's look at this side first. So if you were to compare these these two slide rolls, um, you'll see the Deaton is slightly larger, especially the slide part, uh, because what they've done is they've they've taken essentially something similar to this and they've widened the slide. Um, and widening the slide lets them put one extra scale there, so they put the L scale here. Otherwise, uh, you have the same scales. Let's flip to the back. So, uh, because D10 has put the L scale on the other side, they only have three scales here, um, whereas the K&E has a strange fourth scale squeezed in there um, on that base part there. Um, otherwise, this is very similar. So they've removed the L scale because it's on the other side, and they've evened out the scales again. Uh, but they have that extra space on the slide, so the extra scale that they've stuck in here uh, is that T2 scale. So really, in terms of just the raw scales, the only difference is that the decent scale includes the T2 scale. Uh, the, the other difference is the L scale is in a different place. Um, what that allows them to do is have a nice symmetric layout uh, that the K&E doesn't have, because it has the four scales there. Um, symmetric um, both on this side and the other side, and uh, both sides have the same number of scales in all positions. Uh, so that's nice. Um, Okay, so what are the advantages of Deaton's layout? Well, for the L scale, there is some advantage of having the L scale um, on the slide, especially on the side with CI, uh, because then you can read uh, logs uh, both greater than 1 and less than 1 um, on C and CI directly. Okay, uh, now you can do that on the, the K and E slide roll too, because L is, on, L is on the base here, but it's on the side with D and DI. Uh, so I think that's that's kind of a wash. Because L is on the slide, you can do some combined operations using L, uh, but I don't think that's really uh, too advantageous. Um, however, if you do a lot of trigonometry or you do certain vector calculations, um, electrical engineering calculations, sometimes having that T2 scale is useful. Um, so I think really you buy the decent slide roll if you are going to be using that T2 scale. Um, I think that's how it would come down to it. Of course, or 
you really like the micro glide construction. But if you're just talking scale set, you buy the Dietzen scale set if you want that T2 scale. Um, okay, uh, let's look at other other differences of the slide roll. They both have an inlay inlay on the side. Um, the the K and E is one of my favorite slide rolls overall. Um, this is a later K&E with a plastic cursor, but the one from the same era as this would have a glass cursor frame, uh, glass cursor window there. Um, the Dietzen, the Dietzen cursor is a little bit heavier duty. Uh, the K&E cursor frames are very, very thin, very lightweight, uh, whereas the Dietzen is just a heavier duty cursor. And, uh, it slides fairly well, uh, because of the, those little feet that it has there. Um, so overall I would say the Dietzen probably wins on the the cursor comparison here. Um, let's see, what else is there to say? Um, okay, but you like the Deaton scale set, um, but you want, say, a bamboo slide roll, uh, well, there's that version for you. You want it in a metal slide roll, there's that version out there for you. You want the all-plastic bargain basement slide roll, that version's out there for you. You want the expensive plastic slide roll, that version's out there for you. You want the classic construction like the K&E, um, no micro glide uh, insert. That construction's out there for you. Uh, you want you want the very unique micromatic adjustment slide roll. Uh, that version is out there for you. So really, you can get this decent scale set and pretty much any type of slide roll that you want. Uh, but my favorite has got to be uh, the micro glide version with the Teflon insert. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, have fun with your slide rolls.